In today's news, pissed off is an understatement, because in the court of public opinion, the SEC has lost time and time and time again against the crypto industry. They even recently withdrew their request for the course to classify crypto tokens like Matic, Solana, Cardano and many many more as securities in its lawsuit against Binance Exchange. It has already been determined in the courts that XRP is not a security so there really isn't anything else left to discuss besides a settlement deal. Yet, yesterday's closed door sunshine meeting, one that was heavily speculated to be settlement talk between Ripple and the SEC, was once again cancelled. And as such, this has waved heavily on the price of XRP, now valued at 57.44 cents, down roughly 3.67% on the daily time frame. Now, full disclosure, XRP for me personally is a long-term hold, a long-term investment. I believe that XRP has the potential to explode much higher in value from here. So in the long term, this price action happening right now, it's quite insignificant. It doesn't really matter. But it's the principle that vexes me because how are the SEC doing this? Why are the SEC doing this? And when can we just get all of them fired and out of office? Because the whole agency are just tyrants at this point that have no faithful allegiance to the law and claim to be protecting investors. Yet all they have done is cause more damages. Need I remind you? That coincidentally, the SEC chair, Gary Gensler, met with Sam Bankman Fried, the head of the FTX, mere months before it collapsed. US lawmakers claimed that he was trying to help FTX obtain regulatory monopoly over crypto. Gary Gensler has neglected his duty to protect investors and Ripple and XRP holders have struggled under the full force of their egregious oversight. But why do they still persist on messing with Ripple and manipulating the price of XRP when the decision has effectively already been made? These are the sort of thought-provoking questions that allow you to stay ahead of the game and help you piece together potential market patterns and structures, which is crucial as we are now approaching the biggest bull run ever in the history of mankind. And it is for this reason that I have just created a free to join community Discord server, where in this community together, we are all working to increase our knowledge to find the true money makers, the true crypto gems, to be a part of the biggest wealth transfer in history. So by all means, come and be a part of the family. The link to join will be in the description below. Now, as per this article from Coinpedia, the reason why the SEC may be fleeing as such may have something to do with the recent court filings that have favoured crypto, forcing them to reconsider their stance. Combine this with the growing political pressure, especially from the US administration as Trump engages with the crypto community, this could be affecting regulatory strategies and contributing to the delays. I am sure you are aware or remember recently Donald Trump gave a speech at the Bitcoin conference in Nashville stating that on day one of his administration, he will fire Gary Gensler. Take a listen. I will fire Gary Gensler. Now, this is not about politics here necessarily, but love or hate this man. I'm sure everyone can agree that Kerry Gensler needs to go and this growing pressure may have finally become too much for him to handle. Instead of just righting his wrongs, he is digging his heels in and determined to die on this hill. But then another potential reason for the repeated delays may be due to the lack of evidence in the Ripple case, which, spoiler alert, there is, the SEC has nothing anymore. And Ripple CEO Brad Garninghouse has not held back in his criticism against the SEC, again relating the SEC's poor judgment and unfaithful allegiance to the law in the recent withdrawal in the Binance lawsuit, because effectively all the SEC did now was just waste the taxpayers' money. Billions and billions of dollars. And it is likely also for this reason that Ripple are fighting back in other ways. Following Donald Trump's speech about firing Gary Gensler on day one, Ripple's chief legal officer, Stuart Oldwati, has been caught or recorded on two separate occasions now donating XRP to Donald Trump, now totaling 624,000 XRP. Not to mention Ripple also donating $1 million to the Commonwealth Unity Fund, which is a super PAC set up by attorneys like Meta Lawman or James Murphy, 
to unseat Gavi Gensel's partner in crime Elizabeth Warren to elect the man of the people, John Deaton, as the next senator of Massachusetts. So evidently Ripple are doing all they can to remove the anti-crypto members in Congress stifling crypto's innovation and they are not the only ones. Coinbase as well, as well as Circle, some others as well, but in this instance here, Coinbase are also donating funds and talking to mainstream media platforms to voice how crucial it is for America to wake up and catch up with the rest of the world on crypto innovation. As Coinbase CFO Elisa Haas states here on CNBC, it would unlock massive potential for crypto as well as Coinbase if we could bring clarity to the United States. Listen closely. Still sort of anticipating that you could see additional regulatory oversight come down the pipe for crypto. This has been a quarter of momentum. So we had so much movement in the, for our goal of regulatory clarity this quarter. We are very grateful to Senator Stabenow, to Representative McHenry for their efforts to bring forth bipartisan legislation in the House and the Senate. We saw overwhelming support of FIT21 in the House as it passed with bipartisan support. And we are really optimistic that we might see continued momentum into the fall on the Senate side. So our energy is there. It would unlock massive potential for crypto as well as Coinbase if we could bring clarity to the United States. So yes, this repeated delay and cancellation of the settlement deal is frustrating beyond all belief. But all in all, the final outcome has already been decided. The SEC can manipulate the price and delay all they want but as Ripple CEO Brad Garninghouse states on two separate occasions, one to Bloomberg and the other to CNBC, this lawsuit will likely resolve itself this summer. XRP was not a token in the context of retail use. Um, it was a different story for institutions. Where, where do th things stand with that case right now? So right now, uh, th what the courts ruled and the judge said very clearly is XRP in and of itself is not a security. That's everything to us. That, that was, you know, these are technologies that should be allowed to kind of breathe and thrive and grow. And to me, it's again, the inevitable march of those technologies, the progress. The case between Ripple and the SEC, we feel like is largely resolved. Most of that went Ripple's way. There's one case that the judge decided when an institutional sales and something called an investment contract, because there's a contract around it, the contract could be a security. And it was deemed that those were unregistered security sales. And so we're in the final, like, let's say half mile of that marathon. I think we'll see resolution hopefully this summer. Uh, you know, the SEC asked for $2 billion in fines. You know, my, my estimation is that'll be, you know, in, certainly in the millions, not the billions. And I think it's again, just a misguided to even come out and ask for that when there's no accusation or certainly findings of reckless behavior, fraud, or any of those things. You know, the, the other settlements that they've done have been represented like maybe one or 2% of what's been involved. And so it's just kind of posturing in my opinion. Ripple will win. United States institutions will be greenlighted by the SEC finally for mass adoption of XRP and then XRP's price will start to increase and eventually will skyrocket. The final judgment is very, very close weeks away. And actually there is another sunshine closed door meeting next week. So who knows if this doesn't get canceled, maybe next week is the time we get a settlement deal. And to quickly steal a quote from Brad Garninghouse himself, here in the long run, this lawsuit is nothing more than just a speed bump in what the future of crypto will look like, which is why I say don't look short term, think long term. And I'll see you in the next one.